What is going on everybody? My name is Julian Serrano. I want to welcome you guys to the Prepare to Fire Fire YouTube channel. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of backstory of who I am and why I want to bring you guys the most value, knowledge, and experience to get you guys to become the best firefighters for your career and to get you guys to succeed at the highest level. So my name is Julian Serrano and I started becoming a firefighter in 2014. My process to becoming a firefighter was very, very difficult. When I first sought out to be a firefighter, I really underestimated the work required to become just that. When I first went to fire school, I, I did not prepare appropriately. I had a very weak mindset and I honestly went into it thinking, how hard could it be? Little to my surprise, we PT'd every single day. We put, got put in precarious situations where teamwork was necessary, where your leadership skills were tested. And I had none of the above, right? And go figure, I prepared very, very little for this process. And if you can take anything out of this video, preparation is key. Understand that the quote goes as, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And that is so true. So I failed out of fire school because I failed to meet a terminal objective. And honestly, it wasn't the objective that I didn't meet. I failed to meet the physical standard. I failed to meet the mindset required to be a firefighter. So I went home and everything was questioned because ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a firefighter. So when I went home, I, I got a job with an ambulance company. And for the next couple months, I questioned everything. What am I gonna do in my life? Um, I'm certainly not gonna be an ambulance driver or, or, or ride an ambulance and, and do this forever. So one night I made the decision that enough is enough and I have one goal and one dream and that's to be a firefighter. And for anyone out there that doesn't wanna be a firefighter or does, chase your goal, like achieve your dream. It's possible. You have to have the three things to make this possible. You gotta have the right attitude, the right effort, and you gotta put your heart into it. So that's just what I did. I went back, I got physically ready, I got mentally tough, and I went back to fire school. I did amazing. Graduated fire school and in two weeks got picked up with my first fire department and that's where my career started. When I started this career, I was very, very young. I was very, very new. I was really ignorant to what I was stepping into. Understand guys that when you start this career path, it's going to be hard. You're going to learn that you have to work very well with people that you don't like. You have to understand that you have to be able to maintain your composure when you want to lose your composure, right? You have to understand that this is a, a profession that takes extreme amount of sacrifice. And coming into it, just know you're gonna sacrifice a lot. And it's worth everything. It is worth everything that it takes. It gives back in tenfold. So that's a little story about me, guys. But the biggest thing I wanna help you guys here with this video today is how to become a firefighter. What do I, what do I need to do to become a firefighter? I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. Number one, you need to create a plan. That plan should consist of a mental and physical checklist to get ready for the set forth school academy that you're gonna endeavor. The second thing is, is seek out a firefighter at a local fire station. Ask him if you can talk to him for a few minutes to, think, to talk about the process that it is to get hired with that set department. Once you learn that process, that individual should know how the process is across that city or county and begin that process. And the third thing is the most important thing is find out why you want to be a firefighter. What is your why? What, what's, what sparked your interest? What's, what's the reason? Because throughout my eight year career so far, my why has been tested multiple times. And when your why is tested, you need to make, you need to make sure it's crystal clear and it's strong enough that it will withstand any storm because this career is a, a literally a stretch of peaks and valleys. Right? It's a roller coaster of a ride. And when you're in those low moments, you need to be able to revert back to, why am I doing this? Why am I a firefighter? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, currently I'm experiencing a low in my career path and my why was tested. And luckily enough, it was clear that my why is to help people that are helpless, to bring light to very dark situations. But that's my why. Find out what your why is before you start this career path. And you're gonna enjoy how awesome, crazy, and epic 
it is to be a firefighter. Guys, subscribe below, share this link. I look forward to bringing you guys so much knowledge, so much experience, and so much value. Thank you guys for watching.